for anyone who isn't aware of what Into the Surf is about, could you tell us about a little bit? Into the Surf is a short film, um, UK film, about uh, mental health and mental health issues. Um, slightly different than maybe you'd see um, normally. It tackles um, actually the subjects around mental health, so not necessarily the person. So in the film I play Daniel, um, who is the subject of the mental health issues. He He's the one that suffers, but the story is actually about the people around him. So specifically, um, Sebastian, played by Greg Austin, um, who is the younger brother. Um, and it actually tells a story of his sort of life and him growing up, um, trying to get out of the shadow of his older brother, who's slightly more charismatic. What made you want to get involved with this film? A really great script. Um, I think as much as as any project comes along when you read something that really sort of grasps your imagination and for this it was the way it was told um, so Tom Evans who directed um, spoke a lot about this um, iceberg sort of narrative in that it's a short film so what we'd see is a number of snippets of these stories we don't actually go into depth and explore each sort of narrative moment um, but what's lovely then is the audience get to fill in the blanks. So we can actually touch on a number of subjects and you can make them as extreme or, or not as you want. And what were some of the challenges that you faced? I think portraying it um, accurately, um, mental health, there's, it, there's so many different men mental health issues on the spectrum that it's really difficult to pinpoint any single one. We weren't going for something specific, we wanted to leave it quite open. Um, so for us it was just trying to get a feeling of, of what it's like to live with someone or be around someone who suffers. Um, and then obviously the people around you suffering because of that. Is there something that you're hoping the audience gets out of watching this film? I don't think this is a story that's been told a lot in mainstream media. Um, I think it's often you, the person with the mental health is seen as the victim. And I'm not saying that's not the case because it's obviously a very difficult thing to have to live with. but it's often the people around that, surrounding the issues, that seem to get overlooked. And I think that's sort of the story that Tom wanted to tell, really, is to say, bring attention to those people, the people that are dealing with it day in, day out, that actually their lives are put on hold slightly as well. And that's something that people need to consider. Why are film festivals like Rain Dance so important for the independent film industry? It's brilliant. I mean, I've been making films for years, um, acting, and writing, and um, yeah, it's it's heralded as one of the one of the greats, and I think that's something that's really impressive to be able to bring up time and time again subject matter that ne might not necessarily make the mainstream, but then put these filmmakers all together in a room together and start a big global conversation about things. I think that's that's really important. What was it like for you to find out that your the film was up for the UK best? As time sort of escalates and goes on, it seems to be more and more stuff happening. I guess these things snowball. Um, they start off small and then eventually they can get really big. But I know that Tom is absolutely over the moon, um, as are all of us. Yeah, it's really exciting. What is your favourite British independent film? Independent films, I guess, as an actor, something like Bronson um, a few years ago. What is up next for you? Um, I'm working on a um, pilot for UK television at the moment. 